What is Taekwondo? It knows no boundaries or countries. It is a universal art of self-defense. It is a way of life. Although introduced to the Western world relatively recently, Taekwondo has for centuries been a part of Korean culture. Taekwondo means literally the art of hand and foot fighting. But it's more than that. It is the one martial art that is scientific in its use of the body in methods of self-defense. And in its use of science, it is truly a modern martial art and is without equal in either power or technique. Throughout the world, there are numerous styles of this fighting. In China, it is called Kun Tao or Kung Fu or Dai Shei Ching. In Japan, Karate or Kempo. In Malaysia, Basilat. In Thailand, Kickboxing. In France, Sabat. In India, Selambao. Indeed, it's difficult to trace the origin of hand and foot fighting. If one thing is certain, it is that no one country can claim sole credit for the origins of Taekwondo. But whatever its origins, Taekwondo today is being taught to 30 million students in more than 70 countries, who all look to General Choi Hong Hai, who is the founder of the modern science known as Taekwondo. But what is Taekwondo? It is certainly a discipline. Hour upon hour, day upon day, must be dedicated to the practice of the different stances and movements that are Taekwondo. It is certainly a moral philosophy, for practitioners of Taekwondo are instructed not to be avaricious, to always be humble and merciful, to never compromise principle, to come to terms with life in spite of what is detestable about it, and to concentrate on the improvement of health and the nourishment of the intellect. But Taekwondo is also a sport, and from time to time, those that have obtained the highly coveted black belt gather together to test their speed, their reflexes, their skill, their determination, their discipline, their concentration against one another in a world championship. Such was the case for four days in April of 1984 in the Kelvin Hall, Glasgow, Scotland, when the fourth Taekwondo World Championships were held. This video is the story of those men and women and that championship. This is Taekwondo at its best. The four-day event was made up of four main activities. Power breaking, sparring, patterns and team events. The audience and competitors in the Kelvin Hall over those four days also have the opportunity to view self-defense demonstrations prepared by individuals from the separate teams and have the very special privilege of being able to view demonstrations of technique by the Taekwondo masters. After the dramatic and emotional opening ceremonies, the competition began with a power breaking, which will be returned to a number of times in its different forms over the four days. Power breaking is one of the best examples of those things that make Taekwondo special. For it is through the application of physics and the study of movement of the body that a formula for the maximization of power is arrived at. Championships, a number of different techniques were employed, including knife hand, the reverse turning kick, the flying turning kick, the flying side kick. If breaking is an application of physics and the use of power, then sparring is to do with balance, speed, and accuracy. Much of the World Championship revolved around the free sparring, which is essentially open combat with controlled attacking. Participants are completely free to attack and defend with all available means and methods, with one exception. 
The attacker must stop the attacking tool just before hitting their opponent. This is because Taekwondo is a lethal form of self-defense. So, in the rules of sparring, unlike those of other competitive sports, only those blows which are focused within two centimeters of what is known as a vital spot, that is, any sensitive or breakable part of the body, like a nerve or a blood vessel center, will actually be counted and scored. In sparring, defense is often more important than attack. A solid, secure fighting posture and a balanced position offers the opponent only a limited number of possible attack openings. The idea then is to cause the opponent to act impulsively in trying to attack a secure fighting stance, thereby exposing himself to a quick and deadly counterattack. In free sparring, it is advisable to take a step backwards immediately after the exchange of bows at the beginning of the match, and then watch and study an opponent's movements. The student of Taekwondo has a number of weapons at his or her disposal. Proper selection of the weapon for the proper target is of primary importance. From closer range, an upset punch, knee or elbow would certainly be more effective than an extended kick or punch. From a distance, flying kicks, turning kicks or a combination would be most applicable. In other words, if the distance requires artillery, the idea is to use a gun, not a pistol. In sparring, the time allowance will be two minutes, but if no score is made within the two minutes, an additional two minutes are allowed. When there is an injury and a contestant is not able to continue the match due to the injury, the party responsible for the injury will be disqualified. If no determination can be reached for responsibility, the jury will decide the winner. Disqualification can result from misconduct against the referee, intentionally attacking a vital spot disabling an opponent, committing more than three fouls, ignoring referee's instructions more than twice. Fouls result from loss of temper or insulting an opponent in any way, or biting or scratching. Warnings will be issued for stepping out of the ring with both feet, falling down, whether intentionally or not, except to score a point, attacking a fallen opponent, intentionally avoiding close contact and holding. The scoring in sparring is based on either a decisive blow or a perfect block. A decisive blow must focus within two centimeters of the vital spot, must be made with an appropriate attacking tool, must be done with the correct posture, and the attacking tool must be delivered in a forceful manner, and the attack must be delivered from a proper distance. A perfect block is scored when the defender maintains complete balance, and an appropriate blocking tool is used. A block must be powerful and accurate, the defense must be maintained at a proper distance, and the opponent's balance must be broken.
Um, we've had a couple of joint injuries, nothing too serious, thank goodness. And um, is this a typical or atypical of this sport in your experience? It's fairly typical. It is? Yes. And why does this sort of injury occur in a non-contact competition? Well, this is, this is the trouble. Uh, there is, or well, there tends to be too much contact, because in a world competition, people tend to get overexcited. I see. Um, they lose their tempers, and they're not paying attention, they get tired. They're accidents, they're, they're not usually on purpose.
Every board must be 1.27 centimeters thick. The prize for the power test will be awarded to the competitor who can break the most boards. Every competitor has only one chance. Here we see John Williamson and James Phillips having one of the more memorable breaking duels of the competition. First Division. Maria Engrich here is sparring with Mirelle Goffrey of Canada. Miss Goffrey wins and goes on to spar against Mona Tentua of the Netherlands. <laughs> Miss Tentua. 
Couture wins the match and the division. Mirel Goffrey from Canada takes the silver and Mariah Ingrich of Hungary takes the bronze. In the women's second division, Les Soon Eng of Malaysia spars with Tam Ying Ao of England. Tam Ying Ao is adjudicated winner. Here we see Francis Pertier of Canada against Deirdre Phelan of Ireland. Peltier is declared winner. This is Jean Brown of the USA against Miss Narditsi of Britain. Miss Narditsi wins. In the semi-final, Miss Tam Ying Ao of England spars with Nella Sakulet of the Netherlands. Sapolet wins and will take on the winner of France Peltier and Esther Narditsi in the other semi-final. Hans Peltier wins and takes on Nella Sapulet of the Netherlands in the final. Nella Sapulet wins the gold and France Peltier takes the silver.
In the ladies' third division, Mary Lendor and Aniko Kili do battle in the quarter-finals. Miss Lender of England is the winner. In another quarter-final, Tracy Morgan of Wales takes on Nancy Burkett of the USA. Nancy Burkett is declared the winner. In the semi-finals, Miss Kuwaya of Yugoslavia takes on Mary Lendor in a close contest. Kuaya wins. Here we see the other semi-final in the ladies' third division. Nancy Burkett taking on Marion Welton of the Netherlands. Miss Burkett of the USA is the winner and moves into the finals against Miss Kuwaya of Yugoslavia. Nancy Burkett wins the ladies' third division. In group two of the men's division, which is over 64 to 70 kilograms, we see Haralabos of Greece take on Bonilla of Puerto Rico.
Edgar Bernilla wins and moves into the quarter-finals. And here we see one of the most exciting contestants of the World Championship, Paul Germain, taking on René Locatelli. Paul Germain wins and moves into the semi-final where he takes on Edgar Bernilla of Puerto Rico in another exciting contest. Paul Germain wins and moves into the final. Here we see Paul Germain against Eddie Mas of Puerto Rico. Paul Germain of Canada wins Group 2 of the male sparring. Eddie Mas takes the silver and Edgar Bonilla, also a Puerto Rico, takes the bronze. The last uh, championship, uh, Paul was second, and uh, this year he wanted to, to, be, to win the first place, and he's uh, very happy about that. Very good. Where do you go from here? Oh, I don't know. One competition after one. Yeah. Are you fighting with the team tomorrow? Yes. yes. Good. Good. I'm looking forward to following you. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Good luck. In Group 3 of the men's division, we see another talented Puerto Rican, Enrique Franceschi, take on George Rhodes of England.
Franceschi wins and carries on successfully through the next two rounds to the semi-finals. In another preliminary round, the highly rated Dino Henning of Canada takes on Gerald Martin of Ireland. Dino Henning wins and also carries on successfully to the semi-final where he meets the Puerto Rican Francesco. Franceschi wins. In the other semi-final, Peter Harkis of the host nation Scotland takes on Tony Tefka of Sweden. Tony Tefka wins the hard-fought contest and moves into the final against Francesco. Tony Tefka wins the final to take men's Group 3 sparring. Second is Enrique Franceschi of Puerto Rico and third, Dino Henning of Canada. In men's group five, we see the highly rated Toff take on Fred Barclight of Canada. Toff wins and subsequently moves through two rounds to the quarterfinals. In another preliminary bout, Lars Arga Yelmolunt of Norway takes on the very highly regarded Dimitris of Greece. Dimitris wins and, like Toth, easily moves through his next round to the quarter-finals. In another preliminary from Group 5, Marcel of Canada takes on Bellarino of Italy. Yeah. 
Patel wins. In another preliminary match in the hotly contested Group 5, James Phillips of England takes on Frano of Yugoslavia. Phillips wins and moves into the quarter-finals. As does Hank Mayer of the Netherlands, he is shown winning against Marcel of Canada. In the quarterfinals, Group 5 got even more exciting as Rick Paris of Canada took on James Phillips of England. Paris is the winner. In another quarter-final match, Hank Mayer of the Netherlands took on Michael Horn of Germany. the winner and moved into the semi-finals against Dimitris of Greece, here shown beating Toth of Yugoslavia. In the first semi-final, K1 
Keith Ward of Sweden took on Rick Paris of Canada. And Rick Paris won to take on the winner of the Demetrius Mayer match. In one of the most anticipated matches of the competition, Dimitris beat Mayer to move into the final against Paris. Demetrius of Greece wins the gold, Paris of Canada the silver, and Hank Mayer of the Netherlands the bronze. What's the next goal? I mean, what, where do you go from being a, the world's heavyweight champion? Yeah, that guy's good enough. I'm going to go to she is going to retire now because uh, he must uh, do something as a professional. To make money? <laughs> yeah, you lift that leg. No, for you have to change the To make his life. I have a paramilitary goal. I don't want to do that. I'm only going to have to do my performance. He has created a lot of things for Taekwondo. Now he is going to do it only for his personal training. Mm -hmm. Will you be will you be training will you have students and will you be training other people? Bringing other people up in the sport? Yeah, I'm going to train the Euro Stilianide, which is in the school. He is an instructor in a school by Mr. Stilianide, who is his teacher in Greece. Mm -hmm. So you're continuing instructing? That's not his name, it's his name. Yeah. Well, good luck in the future and congratulations again. Thank you. Another part of the competition was the patterns. Patterns are various fundamental movements, most of which represent either attack or defense technique, set in a fixed and logical sequence. The competitor systematically deals with several imaginary opponents under various assumptions, using every available attacking and blocking tool from different directions. Thus, pattern practice enables the competitor to go through many fundamental movements in series and to develop sparring techniques, improve flexibility of movement, master body shifting, build muscles and breath control, develop fluid and smooth motions, and gain rhythmical movements. Though sparring may merely indicate that an opponent is more or less advanced, patterns are a more critical barometer in evaluating an individual's technique. The things that judges look for will be whether the pattern begins and ends in exactly the same spot. This will indicate the performer's accuracy. Second, that correct posture and facing must be maintained at all times. Third, 
that the muscles of the body should either be tensed or relaxed at the proper and critical moment in the exercise. Fourth, that the exercise should be performed in a rhythmic movement with an absence of stiffness. That each pattern should be perfected before moving to the next. That competitors should know the purpose of each movement. That competitors should perform each movement with realism. And that attack and defense techniques should be equally distributed among right and left hands and feet. Scoring criteria in the competition for the patterns are based on 10 points which can be awarded for an optional pattern and 20 points for designated patterns. Additional points can be added for 1. Accuracy, 2. Equilibrium, 3. Breath control, 4. Smoothness of movement, 5. Timing of each movement, 6. Power, 7. Rhythmic movement, 8. Characteristic beauty. In the team sparring, we see here first Hungary versus Germany in the quarterfinals in an exciting and awfully closely contested team competition.
Germany wins. To take on the winner of the other quarter-final in their part of the draw, Italy versus the Netherlands.
and the Netherlands is triumphant. In the other half of the draw, Ireland takes on Yugoslavia. Again, in an exciting match that team competitions often generate, Yugoslavia wins. They will take on the winner of USA 1 versus Canada 1, the other quarter-final.
Canada wins, and they take on Yugoslavia in the semis. Yugoslavia wins to take on the Netherlands in the final.
the Netherlands win the prestigious team sparring contest, with Yugoslavia taking the silver and Canada the bronze. The overall prize for the fourth World Championships was won by Canada, with the Netherlands in second place and the USA third. ITF World Championships was certainly about competition, but Taekwondo as a sport and as an art form is about much more than mere competition. It's about the development of the body and the mind. It is based on the principle of self-control, perseverance and integrity. And these principles are embodied in the competitors you have seen on this tape. Taekwondo, the art of hand and foot fighting scientific use of the body in methods of self-defense. A martial art that has no equal in power or technique. Taekwondo, a way of life. The fourth ITF World Championships were organized by Master Ri Ki Ha.